It's fine. We'll give, uh, we'll be opening in about five more minutes. Just give some more people some time. Islam. All right, Islam. Um, one thing I want to share before we get started, um, just to just to um just to share some information, you know, we as a as a collective <clears throat> in general don't really know what we're working with, right? With with this nationality, with what we have. Um the prophet actually, of course, he he reconnected us with our our um our hidden heritage, the big secret that's been hidden. That we, we're indigenous to the land, this is ours, that we're descended from the creators of civilization. He reconnected us with that created a government for us to come in, proclaim, and move as a unit now, economically and everything else. But um, even though most of our people aren't on board with this, it doesn't even matter. There's some around 44 million so-called African-Americans, and that's just the African-Americans. That's not even counting all the people that are um, dark-skinned, look just like us, that are you know, Dominican, Haitian, Jamaicans, and everybody else that's here. Okay, so just off of us alone, there's around 44 million of us. So say only 3%, 3% of us are aware that we're Moors. And right now we're discombobulated. You know, things are all over the place. And that's okay with what we've been through for us to be like that. So if you take 3% of 44 million, that's 1,320,000 people. So when we get it together, we off right off that we have something to work with that is formidable. Okay. <clears throat> and um, you know, a million three hundred twenty thousand, you know, that's not a lot, but that's still that's a nation. And um, that's a nation that just with that small number would be more powerful than our people as a collective being in disarray like they are. You know, our people aren't working towards their own government, their own goals, their own national and local strategies. So for us just to move like that as a collective, and then of course, as we um, make progress, others will want to come on board as well. All right, but we really have something powerful. And I say 3% just because we know there's a lot of people that are conscious that may not even, for whatever reason, they're not even open to this. So just just three percent. It's got to be that many because there's so many moors out here. You know, you can't just look and tell who who's aware of this. So we're out there, and what we have is powerful. And that's how come even to this day they're still covering this up. They're not talking about it. Dateline had a special a couple years ago talking about how so-called black woman can't find a man. Like why why are they talking about this? They'll talk about mess like that, right? But they won't talk about this, 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 this um, amazing phenomenon that's occurring within our community, this spiritual, um, cultural awakening that's occurring. They're not gonna give it any light, it's on us. And um, even without them giving it any light, we're still here. Everybody's coming in on their own. We're moving, we're making progress. So just keep that in mind. Don't ever get discouraged. We're powerful. And um, we just have to get it together. But we're powerful. And we have something to work with just right off the bat. Just off of those of us who are already aware of who we are. All right? And on that, I yield the floor. Islam. That was a great demonstration. Islam, we'll give it about two more minutes before the start of the meeting, Islam.
Islam, Islam. Let's get everything started. All means are to be open and closed promptly according to the circle seven of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Now we can. Let's all rise and please face the east. Let's put our feet on our square in that seven, in that 45 degree angle, in the cactus pose as we do. The Moore's Prayer. And please repeat after me. Allah. 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 Father universe. Father, Father universe. universe. Father of love. Father of love. Truth. Truth. Peace. 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 Freedom. Freedom. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. My guide, my guide, my guide, and my salvation. My and my salvation. And my by night and by day. By night and by day. By night and by day. Who is holy prophet? Through his holy prophet. Through Ali. 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 Amen. Amen. I want to announce this meeting is open. I rise and give praise to the Most High Father God, Allah, honors to the Divine Prophet, Noble Jew Ali, for bringing the Divine and National, excuse me, to bringing us our Divine and National Creed so that we may learn to love instead of hate. Honors to our forerunner, Marcus Messiah Garvey, for preparing the way for our Prophet. Honors to the Adab Sheiks and all faithful Moors that make up the grand body of the Moorish divine and national movement. Honors to the first sheik, grand sheik appointed by the prophet, brother Emil Yil. Honors to the supreme grand sheik, Mitris, brother David Bailey Yil. Honors to the current grand sheik, brother Keith Dandris L. And honors to the grand council of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Honors to all Moors on attendance to this meeting. Islam, Islam, Islamism. Brother Jackson Bay, can you read the divine, excuse me, can you read the bylaws? I rise give a perfect praise to Allah. Honors to the Prophet, noble Jew. Honors to our forefathers and our foremothers. Honors to the Asiatic nations and the Muslims in the meeting and all over the world. Salvation, Allah, unity, the Moorish Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution and Bylaws, Act 1. The Grand Sheik and the Chairman of the Moorish Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce law with the assistance of the Prophet and the Grand Body of the Moorish Science Temple of America. The Assistant Grand Sheik is to assist the Grand Sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace freedom, and justice, and it is known before the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Act 2, all meetings are to be open and closed promptly according to the Circle 7, then love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our holy day of rest, because on a Friday, the first man was formed in flesh, pardon me, flesh, and the, on the Friday, the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his father, God, Allah, for that cause, Friday is the all Muslims all over the world. Act three, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. No member is put in danger or accused falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because Allah is love. Act four, all members must preserve these holy and divine laws and all members must obey the laws of the government because by being a Moorish American, you are part and partial of the government and must live life accordingly. Act five, this organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act six, with us, all members must proclaim their nationality and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are part and partial of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, 
because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Nobu Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become part and partial of all uplifting acts to the more Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities in the more Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful husband. You must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Marsh Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Jew Ali, through the guise of his father, God of Allah. Noble Jew Ali, founder of Marsh American Prayer, Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, Drew Ali. Amen. The Morris Science Temple of America, Home Office of Noble Drew Ali, Home Office, Chicago, Illinois, USA. Islam, Islam, Islamism. Happy Holy Day, Muslims. Islamism. Gratitude, brother. Gratitude. Now, Grand Sheik, the Temple 30. Can uh can we please get rich? Islam, Islam, I rise giving uh praise to the most high Father God Allah, give honors to our prophet Noble Drew Ali, and honors to all of you in attendance, honors to everything Moorish to be proclaimed at every meeting. Islam, I'm glad to know that I have a few faithful Moors among you all, and I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. There's a host of jealousy about me and the movement now by the same people of our side of the nation that claim that I was only a joke and unreal. But now since they have found out from the government officials and the nations of the earth that this is the only sole foundation that all Asiatics must depend upon for their earthly salvation as American citizens, they're working every scheme that they can to disqualify me so they may take charge of the situation. I've notified all these things to you long ago in the past. It is through the faithful Moors that attribute to the movement and uplifting funds. The ones that pay their divine respects to me and the movement will be remembered. That is why I'm calling upon all faithful Moors to increase their faithfulness to me, your prophet, and your divine Moorish movement. I need finance and I need it badly. Never before have I needed finance so badly as I do at present, so I can shove aside the discord that is facing the nation. It all comes through jealousy because of my fame and nobility. Nations of the world will not recognize the movement without I, the prophet, being head. It has been proven by my works, which I have performed in the past few years. Prophet Noble Drew Ali. To the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Islam, this is the instruction from your prophet Noble Drew Ali. Be faithful unto your forefathers' divine and national creed that you will be blessed for your good deeds that you sow in the flesh. Allah is the one that judges the world, and his judgment is on now but the weak can comprehend it not. The end of time is drawing near, so says Allah to his divine prophet, I, Noble Drew Ali. And that is why many hearts have been turned to stone and many have eyes to see, but cannot see, ears to hear, but cannot hear. At least they would be confounded of their sins. These are the trying hours now, dear Moors, and every evil spirit is moving and they are trying every weak mind to overthrow and drag out the true foundation that has been laid and to cause confusion in the minds of the ones that do believe. But if you have the true love of Allah and the spirit of your forefathers, you fear not what you hear or see, but will sacrifice the utmost of your very life to protect your movement and your prophet. Watch your enemies, dear Moors. Your enemies are the ones that speak against your prophet and ridicule him to the very lowest and the ones that speak against your divine and national principles of your temples. Act accordingly and Allah will bless you for your good work, peace, your divine prophet, Noble Drew Ali. Prophet warns all Muslims to be read in every meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical speeches while at work, in their homes, or on the streets. 
We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings towards the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card and button cease wearing their turban and fez and return to the state where I the prophet found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet noble Drew Ali. And if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet is therefore sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways. Peace, noble Drew Ali. Islam, gratitude, Grashi, gratitude. Uh, I wanna get this started. Uh, chapter one is gonna actually, I mean, that, that's the beginning for us more. There's a few things I wanted to bring out, you know what I'm saying, the thought, because you know, we are more, we are spirit, man, meaning man and woman uh islam the thought is the cause of it all um, man is the thought of our lot that's what that's what's covered in chapter one islam. so now, uh brother cole Bay, before you before you get started on chapter one can i um share one thing islam islam now about that warning the prophet warns all muslims i hereby inform all members to they must end all radical speeches stop causing confusion we have an example of that, this um, paper, this newspaper article that's up on the screen. This is from 1928. Okay, let me, let me zoom out of this real quick. This is gonna be real fast. The Richmond Planet, this is Richmond, Virginia. You see that? Richmond, Virginia, Saturday, May 26, 1928. See that price, five cents. This is the newspaper, front page. Now it's got this article on here. It says Prophet Mosby in toils of the law. And it's saying that for a reason. Um, this this was a, a brother who um, had studied under the prophet. Now I'm gonna go through this real quick. He was charged with disorderly conduct saying he had no per permit to preach on the streets. But look, watch what he was doing now. He was messing up. Um, it's saying that for many weeks, some had called him the prophet. I don't know what that's about, but he had a small, he had a small ladder and a platform from which he and his followers spoke. They indulged in the abuse of churches and finally were especially bitter towards the United States flag. Are we supposed to do that? We honor that, right? I don't care what anybody else says. I get it. I get the hostility. I get it. I respect it. I get it. I get all of that, but no, we follow the prophet. So I don't care what anybody else is saying. Just like the um, abuse of the churches, he messed up. That was the first time he messed up. Talking bad about the church. What was in our laws that we just read? We, we don't do that. And then especially bitter towards the United States flag, which they had on one side and a red flag with a crescent in the center on the other. And that's like the Turkish flag. Or that's, you know, the star and the crescent, which not knocking it but he wasn't flying a Moroccan flag and the United States flag. So he was doing his own thing. Then it goes on and says he had a Quran. Um, not gonna read this whole article, but it's saying that it is presumed that the case will attract much attention. Should the prophet from Chicago come to the city to represent Mosby as it is alleged he claims he will. So the prophet was alive. This was in 1928, he was in the flesh rather. And he, he was telling them that the prophet is going to come and represent him, get him out of trouble. And he had a charter. Back then, it was the Moorish Temple of Science or the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. Here it says Moorish Science Temple of the World. That's that's not correct. But um, just sharing this because 
um, the brother was in error on his own. He, he was out there talking bad and that's why the prophet had to put that warning out because of people doing this. They, they get in the information and we when we get the information that makes us feel good, right? but we still have to follow law and order. We have law and order, just like everybody else does. And then this is just going on about it. Fear of a riot last night when a group of, they call them Negroes, um, were urged to dishonor the American flag and live under the red flag of the Moors. The police pulled him, he was, he was 35 years old, from a ladder as he exclaimed to hell with the American flag down with the white people, <laughs> okay? So, and, and look at this, one of his own people came to the police station. It says, one Negro came into the police station a few minutes after the police returned with their prisoners. Walking up to the desk sergeant, he remarked, you know that nigga, you all just rested. That fool charged me $7 for seven degrees. So he was charging for paperwork too, okay? And I'm just sharing that because there's a lot of stuff out there and we we just that's why here at temple 30 we stick to the prophet no matter what so i'm not going to take up too much time but that's why we stick to the prophet so even when he was here in the flesh you have people trying to freestyle do their own thing and even if it sounds good and even if it makes sense even if there's some truth to it we still stick to this because we stick to this we are protected we're talking about having our own government how come we're not being charged with sedition or you know seditious acts or treason? Because we are protected. We're not coming against the American flag. We're not anti-government. We're <laughs> we're about law and order. We are citizens of the U.S. and we don't mix any of that stuff in. And if people do, um, if we can educate them, we do. If we can't, we leave it alone. But we don't get caught up in that because with what the prophet established for us. We, we are able to grow and we are able to do it unhindered upon. They can't come against us, right? That brother put himself in harm's way. And that's why the prophet had to put the proclamation out. He said, read this at every meeting, <laughs> right? Even in 2021, we still need to read this at every meeting because it's still going on right now. You have people putting all types of stuff out there. And um, so just remember that, okay? That's why we, we stick to what the prophet brought. It's divine wisdom in that. Islam, I, I uh, yield the floor. Peace and love, Morris. Happy Holy Day. It's Islam, Islam, Muslim, Grand Sheik. Great demonstration. That falls on what I was saying. We cannot, we got to be what we know. We cannot play the fool by half. So Islam on that one, because all that is is lower self, and that brings you unrest, misery, and death. Islam. So that was definitely on point. That was definitely what I was getting to uh, with chapter one. But before I even go into chapter one, I'm just going to go on the, the cover of the Holy Quran, you know, because you just, you, before you go read, you read the prefix real quick. The Holy Quran of the Moor Science Temple of Science. And it's a circle seven. Now, if you understand the circle seven, if you see how we pray, you kind of stand in that seven, in that square on your square, in the circle. Divine, divinely prepared by the noble prophet, Drew Ali. Last prophet that we have, that we know about in this world that we live in. By the guidance of the God, of the Father God, Allah, the great God of the universe to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with the with his father God Allah. Now, to when it comes to that more, what do you really think about just looking or just hearing that? You know that we already are there in 2021. You you see that, you feel that in the age of Aquarius. And then it says, you know, we go into the first page, the Holy Quran. See, I can actually put this on. Put this on. Give me one second. One second more. I was trying to actually put this on. Okay, 
it's not letting me put it on. But it, the Holy Quran of the Moors, Holy Temple of Science, Divine Repair by Noble Drew Ali. Islam, if you're trying to share the screen, you you can do it. I took uh, I took that off the screen, so you could you could put it up if you want. Okay, there we go. Let me uh, Islam, let me flip that. That's our prophet. And at the very beginning, you know, know thyself and thy lie. So that means this is the very beginning that we're gonna go. This is gonna be a good build tonight. The genealogy of Jesus. Life and works of Jesus in India, Europe, and Africa, and the lands of Egypt. Prophet. Prophet Noble Jali, the prophet and founder of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science to redeem the people from their sinful ways. Sinful etymology meaning ignorant, meaning not knowing. So it's not meaning that. So it's like what you don't know the prophet is going to show you and, and you will know Islam. So then it also goes with the divine instructions. And then that's the Sultan Abdul Easy Abu Said Saidu, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, excuse me, the descendant of Hagar, now the head of the holy city of Mecca. So we also got to understand we're doing chapter one, but all the more is that read chapter 47. You understand who you are, so that's what's that's that's what's going on. And then also it says, "Know thyself and thy Father God Allah." The genealogy of Jesus. I'm not going to read all into that, but it's telling you the prefix of the whole forty-eight chapters. Then we go into chapter one. Now. The divine instructions of chapter one, the creation and the fall of man. Time never was what man was not. If life and man at any time began, the time would come where it would end. The thought of Allah cannot be circumscribed. No infinite mind, no finite mind can comprehend things infinite. Islam, brother, I, I think you're muted. Islam, can you hear me now? Islam? Islam. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I was going into chapter one on the divine instructions. Uh, chapter one, the creation and fall of man. Time never was what man was not. If life of man at any time began, a time would come when it would end. Now we know all as Moors that we come from the divine, we come from Allah. So that's infinite, not finite. The thought of Allah cannot be circumscribed. No finite mind. And that's what finite means. Anything that can pass or die or go away can comprehend things infinite. All finite things are subject unto change. All finite things are, all finite things will cease to because they will, because they was the time where they were not. And sorry to fumble on those words, but pretty much meaning that it, it was a time when that was a thought that was manifested. So that's finite. So it's going to be a thought, it's going to create, it's going to end. We as us, we know that we don't. We are a part of Allah, known by a quarter of a navel belly button. The bodies and souls of man are finite things and they will change. Yeah, from the finite point of view to the time will come when they will be no more. But man himself is not the body nor the soul. He is a spirit and a part of Allah. Creative faith gave to man, to spirit man a soul that he might function on the plane of soul, give him a body of flesh that he might 
function on the plane of things may manifest. Now, more as I speak, uh, I want to ask anybody, what are they, what, 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 what are your take on it as a Moorish American, knowing what you know at the beginning of the chapter, knowing that you are infinite and in the things that are finite, and we are talking about the creation of fall of man. Islam, so, um, but I, when, when we just read that just little measure, that is just so powerful because it's making a distinction between two types of mind in the beginning, right? Just to go back a little bit, right? Before we get to the part, you know, it's saying that the thoughts, those, um, the finite man can't comprehend things that's um, infinite, right? So uh, uh, um, we understand mind, right? As man, right? So the, the, the average man operating, thinking that, He's just the body, right? Or join the meeting. Or he's just the soul, right? Versus a mind or a man thinking and understanding that he's a spirit and part of a lot, right? So, so right there, it gives you a difference in the designation. You feel what I'm saying? Resetting our mind state back to the ways of our ancient forefathers, and then it gives you gives a two part process. You know the. Uh, created fate gave to man and then it makes a distinction to spirit man a soul that he might function on the plane of soul and gave him a body of flesh that way he may function on the plane of things made uh made made manifest my bad i'm sorry kind of like and then he goes on to the questions why did created fate give the spirit man a soul that he might function on the plane of soul and then another question why did the creative fate gives to soul a body of flesh that he might function on the plane that things may manifest, right? So right there, it that just that makes me think, right, of that we're solving problems, right? Uh when when it said when when uh Elizabeth died and Mentheno told uh John that we are solving problems here and also um in the play, plane of soul or whatever. So like we understanding that we have tasks to do, you feel what I'm saying? We're supposed to be solving something, you feel what I'm saying? And ultimately it goes to the study of ourselves, uh, just to add Islam, bro. Islam, Islam, great demonstration. That was some holy breath right there too. And just to even camel back off that, you gotta understand that it was also, it's also saying that the soul is not, is finite. The body is finite. The spirit of man is not finite. So you are living in a, a duality that's finite. But you got to realize that your soul, your spirit, excuse me, your spirit is not Islam. Islam, Islam just my bad. I didn't mean to cut you, but like um, what, what I was going to say is you're right. But when we look at the word psychology, right, psychology, um, it really comes from the word psyche, psyche going back to the word soul. Um, due to uh, Freudian, uh, uh, Freudian uh, psychology, people believe that the soul, uh, that, the, that the mind, you feel what I'm saying? We, we, instead of it being about the soul, it's the mind, right? But the mind and the soul is synonymous. But because our minds are able to change, right? That's what makes it um, a finite thing meaning that the um, body and the soul, you feel me, which constitute man, right, in the plane of manifest will change. So our bodies age and our minds change um, as the body age, you know, Islam. Islam, great Islam. Islam, that's a great bill on this one. But it still, it still gets even deeper more. So let's, let's go even deeper on it. And it says, why did creative fate give to sow a body of flesh that he might function on a plane of things that are made manifest. Here now, ye cherim, ye sherim, ye angels, and ye men. Now, if you look up sherim and I've looked up sherim, they both kind of mean the same. It means angel, kind of an angelic. Is you got it's pronounced cherubim and seraphim, bro. Cherubim. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Just to help you out, bro. Yep. 
Islam. And when I look those up, those are actually synonymous with the angel, with ye man. But we also know as Moors in our one on ones, you know, what is an angel? So I, I'm going to keep going on there. Here now are protoplasts and earth and plant and beast. Here now ye creepy things of earth, ye fish that swim, ye birds that fly. Here now ye wind that blow, ye thunder and ye lightning of the sky. Here now ye spirits of the fire, of the water, of the earth, of the air. Uh, excuse me, let me check out the chat. Uh, Brother Scott has his hand up. Give me one second. Let me put you in there. Islam, brother, how are you at the floor today? Islam. Um, I just wanted to ask this question. It's been on my mind for a while about this actual um, chapter. Um, I read this chapter, year, well, probably like two years ago to my mother before she passed away. And she, um, this is the only one I actually got her to. Um, she read it with me. And she said it reminded her of Genesis. But then I actually thought about this later. And I have a question. This, this seems as if someone is speaking as if a command is being spoken. I want to know if, if this is a law speaking. And who is he speaking to? Islam, I yield the floor. Islam, now, that, that's very heavy indeed. And I may not be right on this one, but I will believe if the prophet prepared this for us, brother, that Allah was speaking through him. Uh, the Islam or, I mean, I mean, it says uh, the divine instructions and he prepared, uh, the prophet prepared it. So I would say that it would be the, you know, the prophet with Allah speaking through the prophet because the prophet is a messenger of Allah manifesting in flesh. Islam, I don't know if I made that any clearer or anything or helped anything with that answer. Islam, I understand where you're coming from. I just never heard nobody speak it, so Islam. Islam, Islam, if I uh, may add, um... <clears throat> You, you were speaking about Genesis. Um, in Genesis, uh, when, when the creation is being described, it says that on the, um, on the seventh day that Allah rested, right? God rested. When does it say that God woke up? In the whole Bible. It says, it says that God, the creator of the, of the universe, took a nap. But it never says that he woke up because he woke up as man. He woke up as his own creation. Right? So it's wow. describing the creation story. And then he just wakes up as his creation. Islam, I just wanted to share that. Islam. Islam, brother, may I take the floor? Islam, Islam. Praise Allah. First and foremost, I would like to rise and give perfect praise to Allah, Father of the universe. I'd like to give honors to his prophet, Noble Drew Ali, and honors to all you Muslims in attendance. Um, that was heavy, Islam. I just wanted to add if we go back where it says here now ye cherubim ye seraphim ye angels and ye men that takes me to the different degrees like the schools of thoughts that we are all uh that we all come across in the process of raising our frequency or our consciousness Islam, because we all had to start from somewhere. And when we started, we wasn't where we are right now, Islam. So when we go back 
to the beginning, like the brother demonstrated on the cover. This Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America is divinely prepared by Prophet Nobujo Ali through the guidance of his father, God Allah. So these are very divine measures that if we truly understand what is being said, we can go from being the man to understanding a lot in man and reconnecting to that source and becoming the God within Islam. I yield the floor. Islam, gratitude says Islam. I see uh, Brother David Sell. I yield the floor. Peace. Um, I just want to say, like, out of all the chapters in the in the uh, Circle Seven, that this may, this chapter may may hold everything that's in the Kabbalion and I'll give it to you at one point, one time. Um, and if nobody's che if you haven't checked that out, I mean, you don't have to, but it's, it's definitely worthwhile to help understand what this is. Um, and like getting the, the substantial reality behind behind it all, um, it's, it's, this is it's all right there. This this is um, oh maybe not the not a, the most simplest way to put it. Uh, I think in the Kabbalion they may put it a little simpler, a uh, little plainer, even though they use uh, an older older versions of words, they use older versions of words, different word choices, but Islam, I just want to share that. Islam, and just off of what you said during, uh, before COVID in our, one of our physical meetings, we had a, um, a Freemason brother come in on one of the meetings and he told us I don't remember who was in the room with us at the library one of those days, but he said, do you guys know Masons pay $10,000 just to get the understanding of chapter one that's in this Quran? So this is, this is heavy, Islam. Islam, Islam. If, I, if I may. I wanted to add one more thing to that too. Um, the way that this is written and the way that it's to be spoken with the here now, O protoplast, here now, um, here now, ye cherubim, ye seraphim, ye angels, and ye men. It's, it's like it's waking you up and then revealing your true nature back to you, right? So it's letting you know that Allah planted deep within his own creation himself. And then when you go further on to chapter 10, verse six is because it's letting you know, okay, Allah is in you. And then you're giving your station as man. You, you have a special station in this, but then in, in fast forward to chapter six, 10, what does it say? It lets us know that we're, we're tied to each other by cords, regardless of species. And when you crush beneath your foot, the meanest worm, you shake the throne of Allah and cause the sword of life to tremble in his sheath, right? So we're not to be tyrants with this information, with it, to keep it in balance. But this is, this is, this is the wake up call. That's, that's how I see it, revealing your true nature back to you and um, then giving you the balance to deal with it. Islam, I get the floor. It's lying, brother. Your your phone is breaking in and out. Oh wow! Is I apologize. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Are you able to hear me? It's yeah. loud, loud and clear now. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't know if you heard me, but I, I was just sharing that this this is written like it's it's a wake up call with that here now here. Hear ye, hear now, ye cherubim, ye seraphim. It's 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 a wake up call, letting you know that your your true nature, returning your your true nature to you, that Allah buried Himself within His creation, then giving you your station as man. Right, man is the the Lord of the plane of manifest, and so 
the, the vice regent, right, as it says in the Quran of Mecca, the vice regent of, of his creation. But then also when you go to chapter 10, it's also getting you in balance, letting you know we're all bound by cords, regardless of species. And, and it says in there in verse six, and when you crush beneath your foot the meanest worm, you shake the throne of Allah and cause the sword of life to tremble in its sheath. So, you know, we're not to be tyrants with this type of understanding, right? It's giving your, your, true, your true nature and, and giving you the, the understanding to deal with it. Islam, I yield the floor. Islam, I see I got three uh, hands up. Let's go with uh, Brother Jabbar, <laughs> Brother Jackson, and got one more hand up. One more hand up, uh, and brother Scott Bay. So we can go with brother Jabbar first. Yes, sir. Islam, thank you, uh, <clears throat> brother, for that that question. Happy Holy Day to the Moors. Uh, thank you. That's an excellent question. You know, was uh, this first chapter is that a lot doing the talking, um, and then going back to the the thought about the Circle Seven being prepared by the great prophet noble drew ali can you expand um on the preparation uh the aquarian gospel or uh what that is or what the preparation was what, what this uh great work came from some of the historical um context islam can i um can i answer a little bit of that i just um want to say uh when we, when we look up the Aquarian gospel and we look up on um, what Levi's um, Doolin said, um, he, or I don't know his last name, I know his first name, Levi. Um, uh, he said that he channeled the Akashic records. Um, so if um, he channeled the Akashic records and that the Aquarian gospel is what he got back. And prophet Drew Ali was, had, was a prophet um, that's what his followers, us, right? We all believe that, right? So, like, he was able to channel the Akashic records just like Levi was. If you was to ask me, because it, that way, because if we're talking about spiritual works um, and we're talking about a Christian, well, when Levi translated it, um, and then it also says in chapter two, right, um, that, hold on, this age will comprehend a little will comprehend but little of the works of purity and love but not a word is lost for in the book of Allah's remembrance a registry is made uh, every thought word and deed and when the world is ready to receive lo Allah will send a messenger to open the book and copy from his sacred pages all the messages of purity and love so um, understanding that the prophet wanted us to go back to the state of our forefathers with the mindset of to love and not to hate. And the only way to understand love is through purity. Um, he prepares it like beautifully after he had, um, channels the Akashic records. Um, if you was to ask me, somebody probably else could got could speak more. On it. Um, but that's what I, that's what, that's my answer. Um, if we're talking about this, this work, this one. Thank you. Islamism. Islam, I'm, I guess I was next, right? So it, um, I was just going to say that at that part, right, when he's speaking and it starts here now, right, I, I, I always think, and I remember when Sheik said that this chapter one and chapter 11 kind of go together, right? So if we was to go, and I was like, what, what, when you read chapter 11, right? And you go to verse 18, right? It says, from Allah's own record book, we read the triune Allah brought forth and stood seven spirits before his faith. And the Hebrews called these seven spirits Elohim. And these are they who in their boundless power created everything that is or was. These spirits of the triune law moved on the face of the boundless space and seven others were, and every other had its form of life. 
And these and these forms of life were but the thoughts of Allah clothed in the substance of their ether plane. Uh, and then it says, men call these ether planes chloroplast, earth, plant, beast, man, angel, and cherubim. Uh, and these planes, with all their teeming thoughts of Allah, are never seen by the eyes of man in flesh. They are, they are composed of the substance far too fine for fleshy eyes to see, and still they constitute the soul of things, right? So just that, um, as we see, and as we'll see if we read on further, that this is spirit talk, this is wisdom speaking from spirit plane into the plane of creation. Uh, and for uh, the plane of creation and plane of formation, right? So if we used to bring out the tree of life, um, this section right here is bringing everything. This is where creation starts and creation and, and is constituting the beginning of the soul plane. Um, I would believe, you feel me, when we add chapter one to chapter 11 and cross reference and see that, you know, kind of this is um, 18 is, is um, echoing this exact part of chapter one. Islam. Islam, Islam, great demonstration. Sky Bay, did you want to add anything? Islam, absolutely. Um, this is this is amazing. I, I just think I'm I'm glad I'm able to share energy with you guys. I'm on here, um, I'm just lucky. Um, bless. What I wanted to say or add because it makes sense. Um, one of the good sheiks was speaking on um, on it. It's feeling like it's a warning. I agree. Um, I looked up just what quotation marks was, and it's basically someone speaking. So I understand who wrote it down. The prophet brought it to us. It makes sense. It's it's in the duty of a prophet. It just everything goes. It's like anybody that try to. Um, deny Prophet Noble Jua Ali. It's like all of the information is right in your face as soon as you can read this. It's just, this this chapter, it's just, it's powerful. But with all that being said, it's basically what I got from it, from everybody speaking and everybody energies that basically Allah was speaking to us, giving us this information and Prophet Noble Jua Ali brought it to us. Now it was up to us to do the things that we need to do because it's here is given to us. It's the first thing that was written down that we should be reading after we look at the prophet on the front. So it's like, come on. So thank you. I yield the floor. Islam, brother. Great ad for the bill. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to finish up this page. And then it's gonna be another page because this this first chapter is is real heavy. It's real heavy, and I, I know like once I do a few more paragraphs, it's it's, it's gonna be a, a it'll get a little bit heavy because once you see it on this chapter one, and really see it, you understand it. Now it, we left off with here now, ye spirits of the fire, of water, earth and air. Now if you know. They're dealing with the, the your, your horoscope sign. Here now, oh, everything that is or was or ever more will be. For wisdom speaks from out the highest plane of spirit light. Truth speaks out the highest plane of spirit light. infinite. Man is a thought of Allah. All things of Allah are infinite. They are not measured by time. For the things that are concerned with time begin and end. The thought of Allah are the everlasting of the past unto never ending day to come. And so is man, the spirit man. Islam, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to yield the floor to ask any Muslims on this day. What is your take on that aspect? And I'll go on a little bit further. Islam, if I may, I just want to say that this is letting us know of our past, reconnecting us to let us know that we are our ancestors. Islam? 
Islam without a doubt a contradiction. Islam also, when you said that when you broke down and I never brought that, and I'm glad you brought that um as a lost form and everything on as a law speaking a law speaking everything into existence. And then we get down to the spirits of fire, water, earth, and air. Me personally, I was thinking like jinns, right? Because uh when in Islam, uh, um historically, uh when you when you dive into it, the jinns, right, were were basically the gods of spirits before um Islam uh the, the um before the founding of the uniting of Islam, right? Uh, it, people, you know, some people worship different spirits, right? Um, after Islam, the people understood that la ilaha illallah and these jinns were were considered spirits of the fire, water, earth, and air, right? But if we correspond understanding jinns, right, and then we all understand that our zodiac signs, most of them are would be jinns or mythical creatures you feel what i'm saying at one time people used to worship you feel me but when you came with the zodiac sign i was like oh that makes way more sense than not way more sense but it's just adding light to, to different aspects of this thing because islam just you know it's it's going to take over the world um and everybody's going to adopt it uh islam islam but that's a lot that's that's when i get when i see this part um you feel what i'm saying just creating out of space, man. And then I can't, you got to go further. You got to do the whole chapter, bro. It, it, it gets deep, bro. Because I was listening to this today. So you got to keep going, bro. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, it's, it's like, oh, no problem. This is a great bill. This is a great bill. I mean, this chapter, even what you said, when it comes to like, say, for instance, if you look at it, I mean, it could be with gems as well. But if you do look at spirit, you know what I'm saying? That's why I just looked at it that way and I said, here now, ye spirit. So talk to your spirit to wake up your spirit of fire, of water, of earth, of air. I will only think that, that could mean in who you are, you know, who you are and knowing yourself as well as, you know, when we know we are people that know the stars as well. And you know that you are a star. You know that you are the infinite of the Allah manifested in the flesh of the soul plane. So that is a very a deep quote. And it, I mean, it can be taken in a lot of ways. The only reason I said it that way is, because, I mean, it hit me. Spirit of Allah hit me with that, uh, saying it that way. So uh, gratitude on that one. That all just camel back and on you. But let me just finish it up. I don't want to hold everybody up too long. Me before we open the close prompt. Here now, oh, everything that is and was and never more to be. For wisdom speaks from out the highest plane of the spirit life. Man is a thought of Allah. All things of Allah are infinite. They are are not measured by time for things that are concerned with time begin and end. The thought of our lives are the everlasting and the past unto the never ending days to come. That's deep as well. And so is man, the spirit man. So the soul you are, and that's tying you back into yourself like Sister Douglas was saying. But man, like Every other thought of our life was but a seed, a seed that held within itself the potency of our life, just as the seed of any plant of earth holds deep within itself the attributes of every part of the special plant. So spirit man, spirit man, as seed of our life held deep within himself the attributes of every part of our life. So now you know where you are in the soul of man of uh, the soul of the plane of manifest within the, within our life. Now seeds are perfect, yeah, as perfect as source from which they come. And where do you come? You come from the great God Allah. But they are not unfolded into life made manifest. The child is as perfect as the mother is. So man, the seed must be deeply planted in the soil that he might grow, unfold, as does the bud unfold to show the flower. The human seed that comes forth from the heart of Allah 
was full or ordained to the Lord of the plane of the soul and the plane of things may manifest. Kind of sound like a little bit when they say like in the Christian Bible that, you know, they be gave and they begat the son. You all are seeds that the begat the son gave into the world of the soul and manifest. Prophet prepared that to us differently because we, it prepared divinely to us. So Allah, the husband of everything that is through forth is human seed into the soil of the soul to grow a spade, to grow a piece. And man be man become a living soul, and he become the Lord of all the kingdoms of the soul. Heart now, every let every creature hear the plane of the soul is but the ether of the spirit plane vibrating not so fast and the slower rhythm of this plane the essence of life are manifest the perfumes and odors the true sensation and the awe of love manifest now more that was a deep one and we're gonna stop there now I want to ask everybody, what's your take on that? What's 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 your take on how did how did you feel that when the prophet prepared that as who you are in chapter one on the creation and the fall of man? I yield the floor. I have four hands. Islam. Let's go with uh Ross L first. We're gonna go with Sister Douglas. We're gonna go with uh Ranchy Brother Lloyd, and we're gonna go with Jackson Bay. Let's go with uh Rossell first. That's long. Peace. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the Kabbalion again, y'all. Um, real quick, it says that uh everything, the all uh, they all exist in the mind of the all, and that um um uh, that man on this plane doesn't know what what the meaning of life is, but but from all of all authorities, we have been uh, we've been told to pretty much like follow your highest idea and ideals. To um, and you can't go wrong. It also says too that uh, with um, uh, now I'm trying to think of the the exact exact principle, but and one another thing that it says is that. Everything emanates from the all, and then also everything that's on its way is going to eventually return back to the all, too. And once we return back to the all, then we'll know everything, um, the mysteries, all the mysteries that we uh, tried to know at one point. Um, and then I also I, I raised my, my hand initially uh, was with the question where uh, Jackson Bay said about, about the Zodiac. Um, I wanted to mention too that uh, the creation story of ancient Egypt of Kemet, um, the, the the hill that emerged from the primordial waters, and then there was also I want to say twelve uh, quote unquote lesser gods were energies of in their masculine and feminine uh, principles as well. That's also something from in the Kabbalion as well, that masculine feminine or gender principle of gender. And that's that's in all creation. Uh, so that's why I wanted to add that part too, just to 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 camel back on to that part. But, but yeah, I, I yield the floor there. Islam, gratitude, and great bill. Islam, sister Douglas L. Bay. I mean, sister Douglas L. Islam. Um, I wanted to, I'm going to jump around a little bit, um, because I want to go up to where we had, um, the elements, because this reminds me, because we're supposed to be scientists, so scientists deal with the elements, Islam, so, um, you know, we're, we're magicians, in a sense, um, my family's from the Caribbean, so, my uh, on my Haitian side, all the elders always say 
how we won the war and got and gained our independence. They always say they had the guns, but we had the powder. And you know, <laughs> they talking about <laughs> voodoo, right? <laughs> and you know, on on one level, the our ancestors learned to use the elements and the energy, the vibrations to manifest different things. They were using the power of the mind in alignment with nature. And so that's what that brought out in me because this is divinely preparing us and telling us that we are to understand this science in another level where we can, like in, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the book, The Secret of, um, what's it called? The Secret Teachings of All Ages. They said the alchemist is supposed to be able to create or make gold out of any base elements based on our knowledge of the sciences and the knowledge of our minds. We're supposed to take what's given to us like, like our people do anyways, even when it's negative or bad, we take it and we make it something good. We make it something that we could use, something we could, you know, thrive off of. So we see that every day. And if we go further down, like the brother said, I see the masculine, I see the feminine. And just where it says, um, Now see the perfect, if we go down, perfect as uh, is the child is as perfect as a mother is. So we are talking about that divine feminine energy. And if we go down, they talk about the husband man, Islam. So that's right there saying that it takes the nuclear family, the feminine principle with the masculine principle in order to create that perfect seed. And we see the society that we live in is trying to break that up and take that apart. And it always started in our community how they try to take the man out of the household Islam. So we got this whole generation of bastard children and the savagery that Brother Douglas Dell always likes to talk about because it is real. It was planted in our community so that it could because once you take out the head, the body goes down, Islam. So we have to always remember that it's that holy trinity that we have to connect to. And we have to use the sciences to rebuild. And that's chapter one is, is basically telling us with the whole Quran of the Moral Science Temple. This whole book is right here in chapter one, Islam. I yield the floor. It Islam, sister, and gratitude for that because actually I got my head chewed off three years ago. I had put a quote out. It was a breakdown on some historian thing. It was uh, for 40 years, say 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s when it came to the separation of the attack on our people on separating the nucleus. And when they separated the nucleus in the 60s, because you got to look at, if you look at TV, it started in the 60s in the 70s, when you watch Claudine, how come you, as our people, we get prepped to leave our man, but they don't. But now I got to check and make sure he ain't around. So you can have children, but they're not around. So it was already a plan plotted. That's 60s, 70s. Then you got to look at the product of the 80s. Contra. Oh, oh, we got to throw drugs in here. So now we threw drugs in. So we threw it in the 70s, but we're going to really throw it in on you in the 80s. Then the nineties. Now everybody else locked up. Everybody my age, I'm 41. Most people 41 is locked up. So who's outside? That's why like it, the youth look at me like, wow, you you around? You living? You know, Islam. I just had the camera back on that, but it was a it was a 40, it was a plan, and a lot of us fell prey on it. Islam. Islamism. Islam, uh, Brother Douglas L. All 
right islam islam um you know one thing i want to add to that too just um you know with this this uh this wisdom that's being returned to us you know it's it's letting us know we we don't necessarily have to figure everything out you know we we may be trying to figure out ways how, how we're going to work this out how we're going to get out of the situation we're in but um as as uh the sister and uh brother david self said um these are the keys even right here in chapter one when it's talking about um excuse me man being the lord of plane of soul and the plane of things made manifest later on in this same chapter it lets you know that that's our birthright that we all you know we we gave up our birthright so that we could get full get get further into our carnal nature because without a foe a soldier never knows his strength and so we gave up our birthright which is the lord of the plane of manifest protoplast mineral plant beast just to gratify the lower self but man will regain his lost estate and heritage and so you know if we follow these instructions these divine instructions remember it says that at the top of all the pages in the Quran, we follow these divine instructions, we will regain our lost estate. And it's not just this little territory here and there. Because as you were reading before, but man, like every other thought of Allah is but a seed, and it has within itself the potencies of Allah. So spirit man, as a seed of Allah, has deep within himself the attributes of every part of Allah. And that's powerful because we really are supposed to be in control of all of this. This is our dimension, literally. So things that we can't even imagine, we can do it. It's possible, but it's not going to do it unless we get in alignment with this. We have to raise our thoughts up. We have to raise our thoughts up to our higher self. And um, if you're looking at it from an ancient Egyptian perspective, like the, the pharaohs, the ones who went through the mystery school, who prepared their life, they prepared for, for the afterlife. They prepared um, on how to subdue their lower self. It's because as it's saying in, in this chapter, it's, it's telling you that man is a thought of Allah. All thoughts of Allah are infinite. But, right, the things that are concerned with time, like our bodies, things like that, they, they are finite. They have a, they, they will die, you know? So what did the Pharaoh do? He's preparing to, or she, to align themselves with their thoughts, with their higher self, so that they don't pass away, so that they carry on to the next level. Because if you are that aligned with the body, where that's all that you are, is that, that savage mentality, you will pass away. Or what you think you are will, you know, you'll be better off for it. But this is like, this is what is getting us in alignment with, with our higher self, because that aspect of you is unlimited. It has all the attributes of every part of Allah. So there's no enemy. If we think we have an enemy, we created them. We created them to help make us stronger. <laughs> so if you created an enemy, that means that when you get it together, they can't be against you anymore. Nothing can. We can literally turn everything around in the blink of an eye just by following the divine instructions. We don't have to try to figure our own way out. It. I mean, we still have to work and figure things out, but I'm just saying we don't have to reinvent everything. Right? Just follow these instructions to get closer and closer. You know, you take one step towards a lot, a lot takes two steps towards you. And on that, I yield the floor. It's on. Islam, Islamism, that was a great demonstration. Now, at Jackson Bay and then uh, Brother Scott Bay, Jackson Bay. Islam, bro. Yo, this the part that we just got to, it just kind of came to me, and, and, and it came to me today, right? And, and we're going to do what a lot do, because a lot is art, right? And art is every part of everything, right? Including everything, right? So, Look, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know what I mean? Uh, 
Douglas uh with Davis L with the with, I saw in the chat you put uh the three planes, right? And and uh I the sweet the spiritual plane, right? From where's where's talks here now, ye, now ye cherubim, all the way down. All the way down. This is all the spiritual, the thought being this is what Allah's thinking, right? All the way, right? And then when we get to now, seeds are perfect, yeah. Perfect. Now we enter the mental plane. Now, if we put this on the tree of Kabbalah, right? The mental plane, right, would start with the creation and formation. And, and I'm going to show you because when we go down, it says, Hark now, let every creature hear the plane of soul is but the ether of the spirit vibrate and not so fast. And in the slower rhythm of this plane, so we're still in the plane of soul, but it makes a distinction in the slower rhythm. So it's the top, which would be the creation, right? And we're still in the mental plane. This is how everything's one, you feel me? And then it says the slower rhythm of this plane, the essence of life are manifested manifest taking formation so we haven't really we haven't made it down to asia yet um where things are flesh and you, what made me think about this is the one time at the convention we really didn't want to hear it but the grand governor was on the phone and i didn't understand why he was like man yeah I, like y'all got y'all don't get it he kept on saying he he kept on saying like we still ain't full yet you know what I mean? So right now we're still in the soul plane. And this whole paragraph now, the seeds of perfect gay, when it goes back to the duality, it's showing the duality of the, the masculine thinking, the, the right side of the, what they say, the right side of the brain and the left side of the brain, where the um, left side of the brain is masculine and the right side of the brain is feminine. The soul part, which would be the right side, and then a lot of husband man, that's shown what the um, left side of the brain is doing. You feel me? Because the soul is receiving, the, the right side of the brain is receiving the seed, right? While the left side of the brain, the, a lot of the husband man, a husband man, right? I had looked it up. It, um, Brother Sheik, if you could look on, if you could pull it up on the screen, I, I forgot if it's the 1913 definition or the um, 1826 that says a husband man is dealing with gardening, right? And as we see, so it, it, it's like the prophet uh, was divine and definitely on point, separating the two points. So that's what I get from this part. If we go, if we go from the spirit with thing, spirit plane, the absolute, right? Um, the spiritual plane, and then we drop down to the mental plane, which consists of uh, um, Bree, I think it's Brea and Yetzel, uh, Yetzel, and that's so that's what I that's what I when I was listening to it. This is what came to me. Yeah, it says, yeah, yeah, a farmer, a cultivator, a tiller of the ground, right? So the tiller, so a lie, right? The, we're talking about a lie, the oneness, and then it breaks down into a lie, the husband man, an attribute of him, the, being him being the cultivator of the soul, which we all know the soul is the feminine part of us. So Islam, I, I yield the floor. Islam, Islam, that was a great build on that one. That was a great build. I mean, I, I kind of, the, the cabin back on that, I feel the same way because even we only did half of this chapter, half of just chapter one. That's how heavy chapter one is on the creation of the fallen man. And even within that, we all see where we feel where we need to come in. Prophet put that and prepared that right there for you. When he already said what you are, because even when you're reading different chapters, when they say cherubim and serum and ye angel and ye man, that's all the same thing. When you look at our one on ones, you know, that's that's all the same thing. So you all now, now we all know. So now we got a question ourselves is, do we accept our fallenness as more? Or do we recognize our fallen and rise as more of what we should be doing? Islam, are you at the floor?
Islam? Islam, brother, I, I believe you were next. Islam, thank you, brother Sheik. I just, I, I, I just want to camel back. I, I was, I was laughing with joy. I wanted to, uh, uh, uh laugh because it's like everything is on point. It's like everybody's connected. It's like this chapter, this chapter is amazing. So where we at right now? What, what I took from a little part was important to me, the human seed that came forth from the heart of Allah was full ordained to be the Lord of plane of soul and of the plane of things made manifest. So I looked up ordained, it was interesting to me. Ordained is to make someone a priest or minister conferred holy orders on. The other one, is order or decree something officially. So if Allah is speaking, automatic when Allah speaks, <laughs> everybody listen, everything listen, anything into existence listen. So within him speaking things into existence, it's telling me that he told us that our job, well, he ordained us, he gave us a job is to be the Lord of the plane of soul and the things made manifest. So if we wasn't on our jobs or if anybody, if nobody gave us this information, how many people would truly be able to get this information? This right here is, if it's not the most important information I probably heard in my life ever, it's aren't you up the top five. And I just wanted to add my little piece to it. Peace and love. Peace. You found me. Go ahead, brother. Um, to, 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 to camel back off of that, that is one of, if not the greatest secret uh, shrouded in, uh, in all like religion, all schools of thought. That uh, the, the spirit of my creator is inside of me, but I'm not him. Um, and and Jesus said that, and it's it's and it's overlooked by so many people. We say that um, I don't know how many times and how many meetings has been said, but um, at times it feels like it's uh, almost like preaching to the choir. Almost it feels all times we say, it, but it's true. Um, and we gotta, we gotta recognize how, how, uh, how fortunate we are to, to be able to, to comprehend that information on its own there. Islam. Islam, brother. And this is a great build on this holy day. Uh, I see a hand up on, uh, our Shribe Bay, brother. Our Shribe Bay. Brother Ar Rashid, Ar Rashid Bay, he's talking to you. Yeah, I was trying to get to the unmute button. Islam, 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 Islam. Um, I, I, uh, I know I've been missing a lot of meetings lately, and I've been backed up with a lot of uh, family issues, and um, I get back into my word, deep reading, and my alkaline for my mother reaches today. And then Allah puts it in me and I'm up here and I was painting and I was losing track of time. And I'm like, you know what, hold on, I'm meeting today. So I shot downstairs and I grabbed my, my phone and I brought it up here with me while I was painting. And I sat in on the meeting and uh, I give praise because the chapters that I know I set in on just now, I um, I memorized that and I was speaking it as I was painting and it made me come into terms and understanding with understanding that 
I got a phone call saying my mom was in stage four cancer and that it's over with for her. And long story short, nothing can help her. So I said, well, I got something that's going to help her. Then I got in touch with uh, one of the brothers, but he's a brother out of Virginia. And he sent me the products, alkaline and sea moss and so forth. And my mom received her products today. And I get on here and we're talking about how Allah made man to be full ordained over the plane of spirit and the plane of manifest. And to understand that before I went into this situation, it made me understand better with this situation. So as like looking at it from a hands-on point of view, the words actually came into reality for me today. And I know for a fact that there, I'm, I, I know I'm not wrong. I know I'm not tripping. I know I understand what's going on. And with that being said, when we honestly look at the scripture that was given to us, we understand that once we created here and once we depart from here, we are still within the boundaries of Allah. So therefore, once we come to acceptance of what all comes with life in general, then that's when we understand what's wrong and what's, what, what we need to improve it and, and how we can even better ourselves. And it, I just, I just felt like it, I needed to get on here and express that it personally, when I got on here, it, it, it touched me because I'm like, well, wow, because that's exactly how it feels mm -hmm. and that's exactly what's going on. And to know that the energy and, and, and the hurts were all at the same it, it, it makes me understand. It makes me know that the, the 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 what the prophet put down back then is still in full effect to this day. And I've never I've never turned my back on understanding who I am. But like like you said, that the child is only as good as the mother is. So therefore, I, I had to sit my family down in a hole and get them to understand what's going on and why for us to be at a better man. And as I was doing that, that's when I got the news about my mom. And long story short, it there's I, I came back in today and when I came back in today, I'm talking about, like you said, if you read the first chapter, you 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 read the whole book but it's, it's different understandings throughout each chapter. So each chapter is important, but if you understand that chapter right there, you, you can understand what's going on throughout your whole life um, as far as you're here on the plane of manifestation anyway. But I didn't want to say too much. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Islam. Islam, brother. Islam on this holy day. That is a great bill because I shared just a little bit with you on it. My mother, back in 96, uh, had cervical cancer. And it was when she, they had told her if she went home that weekend, she wasn't going to live. She knew about Allah. She knew about God. Now, my mom, when she grew up, my mom born in 1948. My mom grew up, she had to go to both. She had to go to the Nation of Islam in Chicago, and she had to go to Christian church. So she had to go to both on Sundays. So she knew about both. So, like, when I decided to clear my Morris standard, she just was proud of me. She said, I'm just a little too old. Now, she fought that. My brother is nine years older than me. He's not living here no more. My brother had stage four lung cancer and never smoked a cigarette in his day. And they thought it was pneumonia and it wound up being stage four lung cancer. But he said, because it's conviction, and that's when it comes to the will of Allah, he said he wasn't going to live no longer than 45 years old. He said that since he was a kid. He didn't want to live no longer than 45. Had no mental 
no physical issues at all. At all. So you got to learn the will of yourself when it comes to spirit man. And this is chapter one. This is heavy. So it's spirit man. So it's your will and your you got that invisible core what I like. Everybody got that visible core. So when it comes to those, when it comes to your people, you gotta let them know that too. And you gotta ask that because it's also a choice. You got your all, you got your own divine choice in this world. Because you're in a soul soul plane. Soul plane always has a choice. Cause you ain't gonna ever die. Your mom not gonna ever die. No one ever gonna die. But do they realize that? Islam, are you at the floor? Is loud. Oh. And uh, yeah, I mean, if any anybody have anything to add, I was gonna go into the closing. If anybody wanted to have anything to add, are you at the floor? Is lying. Yo, honest, honest, honest to you. your mom's always she, bro. You feel me? Uh, hold your head, it's all love. Um, for me to camel back on that and like, yeah, we, you know, death is a friend, right? But death is an illusion at the same time, right? And as we seeing, and as we seeing, if we would read just a little bit more of the <laughs> of, of this, we we could see, and we we'll see. Um, I'm trying to just see see because here we go. The ethers begin to vibrate slower still, and then the essence took on the final God, right? So the final God was the flesh. So the garb is like clothing. It, it, so our flesh is just clothing, right? And, and, and we understanding that as soon as, like you said, like like Brother Kobe said, you feel me? Like, we, we don't die. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's just people don't realize we dead because as soon as, what we call death happens is just like changing clothes. You feel what I'm saying? Because then we go back into the body. If we read, like it says, and these soul attributes became became a body beautiful. So our soul is truly our body. So if you, you see, if you listen to esoteric, I listen to esoteric, um, like Gnostics and Sufis, they everybody talk about like um, our, our different bodies, our causal, our, our soul plane, our solar bodies, right? So these bodies, right? It's just the reflection of our solar body, right? So that's why I wanted to add, like, if I'm, I wish you would finish it, but like, we need we need to finish this, man. <laughs> but that's not this this yours, but yeah. Um, it's not me. I mean, it's not me. We got if we got enough time, I can finish it. It's not. I mean, we got enough time, I can finish it. If not, we can, you know, we can we can finish it off on later. I don't I don't mind finish. I just know this. Time never was when man wasn't. I yeah, mean, was. I, this yeah, I mean, this show, you feel me? But like, uh, this shit, you cheering it, but like, I'm just saying, it, we could take but it. I'm, I'm, yeah, but I don't know how much time we got on the Zoom. So, it, I mean, we do that. I mean, I could read through. It's only like I could break down two halves. We could talk about two halves and go into close. We could do it that way if that's, I mean, Islam, that's how y'all want to do it. We can do it that way. Islam, yeah. go for it. I was it. about to say, we, we could, but. We are, you know, we are to keep meetings timely. Uh, think an hour and a half the most, 45 minutes to hour and a half. This is a family reunion, though. <laughs> right. I, Islam. Islam, Islam, let, Islam let, let's do it. Let, I, I'll be brief with let's do We're going to do the closing super quick. Let, let's just do it then. All right, Islam. 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 Islam, and bro. These, like, you I'll want go, me to? Yeah, Islam, I, I got you, I got you. I got you. Yo, I guess not. we're going to do it like the Hebrew, uh, our cousins, the Hebrew um Israelites, right? Just tell me to read. I'm going to read. Tell me to stop. I'm going to stop. You feel me? All right. That's how you, I all say, right. if you want to go all the way, start it at the, the second page of it and go all the way down to just read that one paragraph that we'll talk real quick. Just, so just go all the way through that paragraph. All right. From Andy Moore. All right. All right. From Andy Moore. And these soul attributes became a body beautiful. A multitude of lessons man must learn upon the plane of soul. And here he tarries many ages until his lessons are all learned. Upon the boundary of the plane of soul, the ether began to vibrate slower still. And then the essence took on a final garb. The perfumes and the odors and the true sensations and all the love were clothed in flesh. The man, 
and man was clothed in flesh. Perfected man must pass through all ways of life, and so a cardinal, and so a cardinal was full manifest, and the nature that and the nature that sprang, sprang forth from fleshy things. Without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength, and thought must be developed by the exercise of strength. And so this cardinal nature soon became a foe that man must fight, and that he might be the strength of Allah made manifest. Let every living let every living thing stand stand still and hear. Man is the Lord of all other plane of manifest, protoplast, of mineral, of plant, of beast. But he gave up his birthright just to gratify his lower self. But man will regain his lost estate, his heritage. But he must do it in a conflict that cannot be told in words. Yeah, he must suffer trials and temptations manifold. But let him know that cherubim and seraphim that rule the, the stations of the sun and spirit of the mighty Allah, who rules the solar stars, are his protectors and his guides, and they will lead to victory. And they will lead to victory. Man will be fully saved, redeemed, perfected by the things he, he suffered on the plane of flesh and on the plane of soul. When man has conquered carnal things, his garb of flesh will then have served its purpose and will serve its purpose well and it will will fall and will be no more islam islam, islam islamism now on that that was so deep i'm just gonna go real quick and let anybody camel back off that one let's go with uh theories theories is what we understand as being something that lasts in long so when they say at the very beginning of that one the souls hear he theories many ages so i mean he can go through plenty of stages before he understands himself now again as a more you understand that you know we all high high priests they have priests we also understand that we got to know that we are you know saying a wise so a wise person you can go through theories being wise you got vices and everything like that but you can also sit back and look back and understand say like even reading this chapter chapter one sit back look back and understand and know yourself because that's what the prophet told you as your instruction know thyself is the first thing to do and that's what will get you to where you know saying kind of what you need to be by reading these books now i think that's the reason why we don't go out in the streets and just pass these books out to people and get people to buy them because i wouldn't feel somebody need to buy this and not go to any classes and not know anything about this so you got your own perception of what you're reading about this and not know the real understanding of how we are actually building in these classes on Fridays and Sundays in our schools. Islam, and I yield the floor. Islam, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to build, man, because I was thinking about some things, right? Because I looked up, I, I looked up cherubim and seraphim, right? I don't mean to get down because, like, now this paragraph, right at the beginning. It took now we fell, right? Because now we fell up in, in flesh, right? Because everything started to vibrate on the boundary of slow, right? And on the boundary of our soul, that's where the flesh begins, right? So when I looked up cherubim, right? And seraphim, cherubim, right? And the way that this sentence is layered, all right? Let's, let me read the sentence. It says, ye must suffer trials and temptations manifold, but let him know that cherubim and seraphim that rule the stations of the sun and the spirit of the mighty Allah who rules the solar stars, stop. Cherubim, right? The cherubim rules the stations of the sun and the seraphim rules the spirit of the mighty of Allah, the, of the mighty Allah who rules the solar, who rules the solar stars, all right? So now it's, in this sentence alone is given how we supposed to um, utilize them because they, we was already given dominion over these, these um, angelic beings, right? Now, Sarah, now, now then it goes down that the cherub, it says, are his protectors and his guide and they will lead, right, uh, to victory. Cause we all try to redeem, right? And this stood out to me um, when I was listening to it today, right? And I've been thinking about it. And 
uh, when I, I think last week when I said that the, the crown chakra is the cherubim, right? Because the crown chakra, right? That's the last chakra and the cherubim was put in the garden of Eden, right? To protect, to, to keep Adam and Eve, the right and left cardinal brain out of paradise. So the cherubim is there protecting the station of the sun, meaning the chakras, right? The very top of the chakras, why the seraphim, right? The seraphim is his guide, right? And the spirit of the mighty of Allah who rules the solar stars, right? So the seraphim sits, right? When you look up the seraphim, it, 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 it um, it's higher than the cherubim. In, in some uh, way, things, ways of thinking. But when you look up seraphim, seraphim is a snake, right? But you, it's a snake because it comes from seraph. Seraph is a snake until you read it in Isaiah where he describes the seraphim, right? And he describes that the seraphim purified Isaiah by putting a coal on his tongue, right? The tongue corresponds to the throat chakra, which is the etheric plane of man, right? So the, what I'm trying to say is the seraphim, right? Because it says it's a snake and it also a fiery being. What's that? The Kundalini, right? So in this sentence, right, this is what I was pondering on today. So this right here is showing the activation. We have to reach to the cherubim and also the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he did the um, night journey, um, Israel, when he went from Mecca to Jerusalem and then from Jerusalem to go see Allah, he was riding a beast that's described as a seraph, as a cherubim, right? So we had to raise to the seventh chakra, right? The Kundalini, the seraphim, which is our guide, that guiding light, right? To the protector, to raise our vibration, so we could go, so we could go back to Allah, the victory. And then just to close it, it goes with the prayer because Allah, the Father, the universe, Father, of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide and my salvation. So when we break this down um, and add that to this, we understand uh, the way how you it, study yourself. That's that's what how I'm gonna end this, so Islam. Islam, brother, great on adding that. And again, when it comes to the serpent, if you look at uh, medical, the two serpents on the staff, that's all Moors, that's all us. No, so you gotta understand, man was not what we was, and you know, at the very beginning of that, I'm not gonna go way back into that, but that's what you know. At the very beginning, it, it says that uh, about us. So now we're coming back into ourselves. So like, oh, woo, we got a lot of work to do, more. We got a lot of work to do. You gotta think about that. If you go back to like, we went back to. I mean, if you really look at that, finite, infinite, you going back millions of years. We're not going back to thousands. So now to really find yourself, you got to look back into that with each other. And that's what we built it on today. You know what I'm saying? I, I get gratitude for being able to chair this meeting and gratitude for all that and gratitude for every ear that's hearing it because we all build on that one. We always building on this one and we all got to understand it, even though we ain't finished it all. So again, but let's finish it all real quick. We ain't got that much time. All me is supposed to be open the codes promptly. So we only got that little bit left. And then we can speak on it and close it out. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to speak on it and close it out. I don't want to hold anybody even longer. I'll read that part real quickly. Then he will stand untrembled in the plane of the soul where he must full complete his victories. Unnumbered. Foes will stand before man onto the plane of soul. There he must overcome, yeah, overcome them, everyone. What you think we going through today, more? What you think we as a people been going through? Thus, hope will ever be his beacon light. There is no failure for the human soul for Allah is leading on the victory is sure. Man cannot die. The spirit man is one with Allah. And while Allah lives, man cannot die. When man has conquered every foe upon the plane of soul, 
the seed will have full open, full open out, will have unfolded in the holy breath. The guard of the soul will then have served its purpose well, and man will never it man will never need it never more and it will pass and be no more and man will then attend unto the blessedness of perfectionness and at one with our life now you got that's just deep and heavy right then and therefore it tells you right now your beginning and your end, writing this whole chapter as a Muslim, as a Muslim American. Everything that you're going through, you're going through for a reason because you got to go through the fire to know that you are true gold and all Muslims are true gold. And then, therefore, you would know. Islam, I you at the floor. Islam, and you got to be purified in the fire. I heard that we get baptized. Uh, we get baptized in fire, just like when uh, Elihu told Mary and Elizabeth, we must set their souls on fire with holy zeal, right? Uh, and that's the trials and tribulations manifold. Uh, Islam. Islam. I mean, you got to think about that too. Look at symbolicness of what we stand for. And I'm going to go into closing. You got the seven. The seven, if you look at it, a 45 degree angle thing, it is standing on the square versus the cross. Jesus represents to us justice. Justice got pent on the cross a long time ago in 1774, 1776, if I believe. So if you got to understand the fallen in creation, all of that makes a lot of sense because you got to understand that you're going to go through this because you are more. So you got to understand that. But now you can go through it with a smile and you can beat it with a smile because you know where you created yourself from. You know where you came from. You came from the great God of Allah. Everything else did as well, but you came from the great God of Allah. And for a real purpose, soul plan manifest. You the first person to be here. We were the first person to be here. Islam. And uh, it's not if anybody had anything that they wanted to build on that, we we uh, we could build on that. But if not, we can go ahead and close. Them. Okay. Uh, Brother Seymour, can you do the? The closing the Constitution by law closing. Yes, long brother Colbay. Excellent bill. Bro. Excellent bill, by the way. Oh, thank you. Glad to. Yes, long. First, I rise and give praise to the Most High, Father God Allah. I give honors to His Holy Prophet, Noble Drew Ali, and to the forerunner to the Prophet, the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. Honors to all the members of the Grand Body More Science Temple of America and all you faithfuls on the call. A divine warning by the prophet for the nations. The citizens of all free national governments according to the national constitution are all of one family bearing one free national name. Those who fail to recognize the free national name of their constitutional government are classed as undesirables and are subject to all inferior names and abuses and mistreatments that the citizens care to bestow upon them and it is a sin for any group of people to violate the national constitutional laws of a free national government and cling to the names and principles that delude to slavery. I, the prophet, was prepared by the great God Allah to warn my people to repent from their sinful ways and go back to that state of mind to their forefathers' divine and national principles, that they will be law abiders and receive their divine right as citizens according to the free national constitution that was prepared for all free national beings. They are to claim their own free national name and religion. 
There is but one issue for them to be recognized by this government and of the earth, and it comes only through the connection of the Moorish divine and national movement, which is incorporated in this government and recognized by all other nations of the world. And through it, they and their children can receive their divine rights unmolested by other citizens, that they can cast a free national ballot at the polls under the free national constitution of the state's government and not under a granted privilege as has been the existing condition for many generations. You who doubt whether I, the prophet, and my principles are right for the redemption of my people, go to those at no law in the city hall and among the officials in your government and ask them under an intelligent tone, and they will be glad to render you a favorable reply, for they are glad to see me bring you out of darkness into light. Money doesn't make the man. It is the free national standards and power that makes a man and a nation. The wealth of all national governments, gold and silver and commerce, belong to the citizens alone. And without your national citizenship by name and principles, you have no true wealth. And I'm hereby calling on all true citizens that stand for a national free government and the enforcement of the constitution to help me in my great missionary work because I need all support from all true American citizens of the United States of America. Help me to save my people who have fallen from the constitutional laws of the government. I'm depending on your support to get them back to the constitutional fold again, that they will learn to love instead of hate and will live according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, supporting our free national constitution of the United States of America. I love my people and I desire their unity and mine back to their own free national and divine standard because day by day, they have been violating the national constitutional laws of their government by claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. If Italians, Greeks, English, Chinese, Japanese, Turks, and Arabians are forced to proclaim their free national name and religion before the constitutional government of the United States of America, it is no more than right that the law should be enforced upon all other American citizens alike. In all other governments, when a man is born and raised there and asks for his national descent name, and if he fails to give it, he is misused, uh -huh. imprisoned, or exiled. Any group of people that fail to answer up to the constitutional standards of law by name and principles, because to be a citizen of any government, you must claim your national descent name, because they place their trust upon issue and names formed by their forefathers. The word Negro in the Latin language, the word deludes, excuse me, the word Negro deludes in the Latin language to the word nigger, the same as the word colored deludes to anything that is painted, varnished, and dyed. And every nation must bear a national descent name of their forefathers because honoring thy fathers and thy mothers, your days will be lengthened upon this earth. These names have never been recognized by any true American citizen of this day. Through your free national name, you are known and recognized by all nations of the earth that are recognized by said national government in which they live. The 14th and 15th amendments brought the North and the South in unit, placing the Southerners who were at that time without power with the constitutional body of power. And at that time, 1865, the free national constitutional law that was enforced since 1774 declared all men equal and free. And if all men are declared by the free national constitution to be free and equal, since that constitution has never been changed, there was no need for the application of the 14th and 15th amendments for the salvation of our people and citizens. So there isn't but one supreme issue for my people to use to redeem that which was lost. And that is through the above statements. Then the lion and the lamb can lie down together in yonder hills and neither will be harmed because love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice will be reigning in this land. In those days, the United States will be one of the greatest civilized and prosperous governments of the world. But if the above principles are not carried out by the citizens and my people in this government, the worst is yet to come because the great God of the universe is not pleased with the works that are being performed in North America by my people. And this great sin must be removed from the land to remove it, to save it from enormous earthquakes, diseases, etc. And I, the prophet, do herein believe that this administration of the government being more wisely prepared by more genius citizens that believe in their free national constitution and laws, and through the help of such classes of citizens, I, the prophet, truly believe that my people will find the true and divine way of their forefathers and learn to stop serving carnal customs and merely ideas of man that have never done them any good, but have always harmed them. And so I, the prophet, I'm hereby calling aloud with a divine plea to all true American citizens 
to help me to remove this great sin which has been committed and is being practiced by my people in the United States of America because they know it is not the true and divine way and without understanding they have fallen from the true light into utter darkness of sin and there is not a nation on earth today that will recognize them socially religiously politically or economically etc in their present condition of their endeavorment in which they themselves try to force upon a civilized world they will not refrain from the sinful ways of action and their deeds have brought jim crowism segregation and everything that brings harm to human beings on earth and they have fought the southerner for all these great misuses but i have traveled in the south and i have examined the conditions there and it is the works of my people continuously practicing the things which bring dishonor disgrace and disrespect to any nation that lives the life and i'm hereby calling on all true american citizens for moral support and finance to help me in my great missionary work to bring my people out of darkness into marvelous light from the prophet islam islam islamism peace islamism high gratitude brother high gratitude uh on the call, is there any new members on the call? Any, any new members that want to proclaim? Okay. Announcing without further ado, the meeting will be closing. All meetings are to be open and closed promptly according to the Circle 7 and Love, True, Peace, Freedom, and Justice. Now, can we all, if we can, rise, face these for the closing prayer? You do not have to repeat after me. Allah. Bind our hearts and minds back to our ancient forefathers, divine creed and principle. We ask this Amen. in the holy name in the southern Elohim. Amen. Islam, this is a great bill. Gratitude to all Muslims to give me some patience for chairing the meeting. I do appreciate that as well. I hope that with this meeting on chapter one that I did what I needed to do. So it's long. I do appreciate you guys and I thank you all. It's long. Yes, Gratitude, Brother Kobe. You did a great job. Islam, Islam. Happy Holy Day. Happy Holy Day, Muslim. Happy Holy Day. Y'all stay safe. Great Islam. build, Brother Kobe. Great build. Thank you. Happy Islam. Holy Day. Gratitude to all. <laughs> Better come back Sunday with that heat too, bro. It's long. Oh, it's long. It's long. Oh yeah. We're gonna, to, we're gonna go to one on one. We're gonna to go to one on one. But I don't know where we started yes. at one on one. So I know where we started now. We started one on one. We get it. It's long. Happy holy day. Islam on Sunday. We have uh one from Dallas, Texas joining in. Islam. Islam. Uh well where are we going on as far as like uh where are we at on the on the 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 one on one? Um I believe we let me grab forty one through fifty. Yep. Forty one through fifty. Okay. Islam, I'm definitely on it. Islam, Islam. Bro. Islam. So let's do it. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Peace and love.